Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching House of the Dragon, episode 5. Episode 5. Now, in the last episode, we had a little bit of a... A little bit of family drama. You know? I'm not really accustomed to that kind of stuff. You know, when I go on the hub, incest isn't really my first choice. So, you know, I kind of like... I kind of zoned out when I watched that scene. But, but... Otto had spies on Rhaenyra and Damon, and his spies saw them leaving the pleasure house and then they were, he reported it to Otto and then Otto reported it to the king you know and the king seemed a little bit more pissed off about the fact that he had spies on his family rather than what actually happened now even what the spy said happened didn't actually happen you know but I mean like you kind of you kind of got to assume that went down if they're leaving a pleasure house but you know it didn't ultimately it didn't happen you know and then but Otto accused her of it and you know it and i'm pretty sure that was just like Otto's play to like oh well she did that so she can't be the heir to the throne anymore and that means Aegon is by default the heir to the throne automatically you know it was a play in his hand like that you know but it kind of it backfired on Otto. you know instead of him working in his favor you know out it got him fired from being the hand of the king. After Rhaenyra talked to Viserys about it, she was, she basically convinced him that like, no, look, you don't see Otto's self-interest. Like, you don't see how he's trying to manipulate everything in his favor. Or it was more clear to Viserys after that. So he took the badge out of him, and he was like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. I like how Viserys was like, you know, the realm owes you a great debt because he did he put in work. He put in work when he was just purely doing what's best for the realm but then you know it became you know it slowly became okay what's best for Otto you know how can he switch how can he put himself in a better position this way he was yeah he was a good hand until he started being more selfish about it like that so now it's like okay who's gonna replace him as the hand I think that one guy who gave him pretty good advice already um I think he should replace him as the king I'll put his picture on the screen because I don't know his name but I think he should become Hand of the King now. He seemed like a pretty solid dude. But, you know, if he becomes Hand of the King, it's only a matter of time before he gets corrupted too. So, we'll see where that goes. But anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as early access to the next. There is no next because I'm doing this straight to YouTube. So, early access to Game of Thrones. But anyway. <laughs> exposed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nice to meet you. Very nice. Nice to meet you, Nash. Oh. <laughs> she almost got it. Good girl. Good girl. That was still really good. What? Oh, okay. It's close. Okay. Anyways, let's get started. Mm hmm. I, feel, I, I just have a feeling this is Damon. Like, who else? Husband? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, it is. All right, so this is his wife, his first wife. They mentioned her, but this is the first time she's been on screen. Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company. Mm, yes. What will you do now? Will you strike the child down? Or Probably. Wouldn't be shocked. No, oh, no. No, oh, no. <laughs> I knew you couldn't finish. Oh, mm. oh no. <laughs> Why would you say that? Alright, she died. Cool. We have to assume she died. There's no... Okay. Alright, so yeah, he, he got banished again. It sounded like she said. I mean, he did say, like, when he confronted Damon in the Iron Throne room, he was like, do I have to fucking ban you again? Sari said, so I guess he got banned again. <gasps> he is Hand of the King now. Let's fucking go. Yeah, that was the guy I was talking about. So I guess Damon's just gonna go terrorize the fucking veil now. You chose Rhaenyra. She swore her innocence. And Take I believed her. You wanted to believe her, as did her father. Bro, she wasn't lying. An honest mistake, perhaps, but I did not foresee this. You should have. So relentless in advancing Egg on his air. Yeah. This is on you, bro. 
So Allison sided with Rhaenyra because she believed her, so I guess she's staying. The king will die. It may be months or years, but he'll not live to be an old man. And if yeah. Rhaenyra succeeds him, war will follow, do you understand? He will not accept her. And to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children to the sword. She'll have no choice. You're no fool, and yet you choose not to see it. Fuck. Aro has a point. Either you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. It doesn't have to be like that. Like, would Rhaenyra actually do that? Probably. <laughs> okay, well now, Allison's gonna stay as queen, but she's always gonna have that in her head as every single move is made. She's always gonna have that, so she's try and do what Otto was doing now, but just more subtly. Probably in like, like she won't make it as obvious. An aggressive approach like he did. And that, yeah, because Rhaenyra's gonna marry that guy. With the silver hair. And uh, that's also her fucking cousin. So, there's Targaryen things. As is yours, who took his place? Oh, okay, okay. So that's the new hand, son. Wonder if she could be relied upon now that she's unwell. Unwell? What do you mean? Is that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the princess's chambers? Okay, that wasn't... Alright, All right. I thought that was like a plan B type of tea. I mean, she looks... Rhaenyra looks fine in the last scene. I do hope she's not on what. Rhaenyra sails with the king to Driftmark. Yesterday yeah. at daybreak. Yeah, they're in Driftmark right now. That must have been an error. Oh, no. A relief. No, no. Now, she, now Allison's just gonna worry. What happiness it is to have been wrong. Bro, shut the fuck up. You're making me worry now. Now Alice, all Allison can do is just wait till Rhaenyra gets back. I mean, Rhaenyra looks fine though. <laughs> Seems like Viserys the sick one here, but he didn't drink any tea, so... Unless the Mesa brought him some off-screen. Princess. <laughs> oh yeah, his hand's all fucked up. I don't know, maybe maybe Otto did something, because Otto, Otto was like, he won't live to be old. But he did say it may not be now, maybe in a couple months, maybe in a couple years, but he will die soon. I think he just meant he'll die from his own arrogance, not because Otto did something. Like, he'll die from his own arrogance and ignorance. The Lady not. Rhea Royce has passed. Ooh. A hunting mishap. <sighs> she was thrown from her. Yeah, hunting accident. <laughs> Damon's wife. Sad thing that she and Damon had no heirs to succeed her. Mm -hmm. She's I wish to propose a marriage between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess yep. Rhaenyra. You are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter simply yeah. because she's a woman. Ah, oh, fuck, yeah, that is, a, that is a thing. I only seek clarity, Your Grace. Yeah, the woman takes the last name, so... Nah, it is an exception. He wants to make sure Rhaenyra is guaranteed the throne. It's not going to be Aegon, no matter what. At such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Yes. Dragons will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years, just as they did the last. <sniffs> Gotta make sure the throne says Targaryen no matter what. I mean, I think it's fair. Like, we're already on the throne. It's your house joining the throne, you know? It's like, we kind of, I feel like we have more leverage here than they do. It's not for a lack of trying. There are those who like Goose very well. I find it a bit greasy for my team. Oh, they're not compatible. This isn't gonna work. Mm. Familiar. They grew up together. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. And swore obeisance to her. That was before there was a true born prince named Egon Targaryen. Yeah. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Oh, yeah, 100%. By all rights. You should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I'll put the business behind me, Corlys. Yeah, like she didn't get the crown just because she was a woman, I'm pretty sure. So they gave it to Viserys. Eh, you snooze, you lose, I guess. But she's she made a really good point about how, like, yeah, Rhaenyra's throne, like, 
her position will be challenged. Like, especially because there's already a prince named Aegon. You know, but Rhaenyra was named for him, but there will be a challenge for it, so. I, I know you a bit. You know more than a bit. <laughs> yeah. That you are to be married off at your father's whim with no thought given to the yearning of your own. Oh, no, don't talk her out of it. Don't talk her out of it. I'm asking you to come with me. Away from all of Bro, she can't run away, bro. She can't. And indignities of your inheritance. Let us leave it all behind. And no. <laughs> she literally did. She can't. Nameless and free. Free to go where we like, to love as we like. Bro, they will find Rhaenyra. They are, dude, she's gone. They will find her. Marry me. Oh, I, she's probably, yeah, she'd like to, but. Marriage for love. Not for the crown. Yeah. In a perfect world, yeah. It is my duty to marry a noble man from a great house, and Selena mm -hmm. will make a fine husband. Damn. A marriage does not have to be the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can still fuck on the side. I've gone to leave to pursue his own interests. Mm -hmm. And Tony's gone to be the same. Yeah, they're only going to be married for a public image. And then they'll go and do their own things. You want me to be your whore? Bro, yes. I want us to continue as we began with you as my sworn protector, my white knight. I took an oath as a, as a knight of, of your king's guard. Yeah, if he stays and keep, keeps fucking her, he's probably dead. My white cloak, it is the only thing I have to my fucking name. Yeah. But if they run away together and they're technically free then he could do it so Kristen bro so Kristen dog I don't know that's a pretty sweet spot to be in like I think it would be sure you're just a side hoe to her but like well no you'd be her main hoe it would only be behind closed doors you know but then yeah but then again he stays he you know he already broke the oath but if he stays and gets caught then yeah he could probably he'll probably fucking die but if, like I said, if he leaves as a f and becomes free or whatever, runs away, deserts, then he could do it. But yeah, then wouldn't he be a deserter if he if he leaves? And then wouldn't it, they fucking kill him if they ever caught him? You are her sworn protector and rightly loyal to her. The Knight of Damon's return. <laughs> Fuck, I know she's gone. It is of course unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard. But She's talking about Damon or she's talking about him? I did, however, one day. If... Do you think Damon or did you? I... Breaches in resolve. <laughs> Breaches or rather lapses. It happened, your grace. I feel like Allison was talking about Damon. And then he just com he just confessed that he did it. I have committed it. At her instigation, it is true, but that should... Yeah, the way she opened her eyes, the way her eyes fucking just lit up i feel like she was talking about damon and he just com he he just admitted to himself so yeah she's hella confused she's like i wasn't even talking about you you may go bro that's honest if i was him i would have been like i wrapped up so it, didn't, it doesn't count <laughs> Okay, I honestly feel like she was talking about Damon and Rhaenyra, and she was gonna ask him, do you think that they actually did it? And she said like, the rumor, and the the rumor is that Damon and Rhaenyra got together. Like, I, I don't think a, oh my God, he looks very ill. I don't think there was a rumor between her and Sir Christian Cole because they were the only people that knew, and like, how would anyone else know about that? And so he, but he just, I, I think then he thought she was talking about him. And so he just, he just admitted to it before, like, you know, she could get to the point and say she was talking about him. I don't know. I could be totally wrong on that, but we'll find out. We'll find out. So, but I guess Sir Kristen Cole is, he's dying. He's, he's dead. All right. All right, B. Oh my god, look at his fucking arm. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, that's what's killing. The fucking infection's what's killing him. Okay. 
bro, I said that's how he was gonna die in the first episode when he like first cut himself out. Like when he first had those like things on his back, I'm like, bro, that's a staph infection or that's fucking ringworm. He's dying. It caught his entire fucking arm though. What? <laughs> Holy shit. There is a part of me wishes I'd been tested. Mm hmm. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared it. That's, that's also true. Another lord might assure me that I would rise like egg on the conqueror given the chance. Nah. It is perhaps best not to know. Well, you know, not all tests are on the battlefield, buddy. Okay, okay, yeah, that's what Otto was talking about then when he was like, yeah, he's gonna die very soon. Or whatever, because of the infection from cutting himself on the throne. <laughs> you just not want to see this fool. Thank you, Lord Jason. I could think of no better man than Selena. <laughs> that was a straight diss at him. This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. Shut the fuck up. Just another diss. Uh, okay, buddy. Sure. Just cut him off. Go. Who the fuck do you think you are? I must say, I was most distressed to hear of the Lady Rhea's tragic passing. Uh, okay, he's from the veil. Oh, so Christian Cole's right there, and he looks a little nervous. Why demons here? I don't think he's supposed to be <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, this should be me marrying her because that's what you wanted. That's what he said in the last episode. He's just acting like everything's fine. Like nothing even happened. Hmm. Who, who, who pulled up? Who's here? Oh, it's just because she looks really good. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Mm. Green. Mmm. Yeah, I'm green. Congratulations, stepdaughter. What a blessing this is for you. The joining of the two houses, Your Grace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, he's... He, he's our boy. He's goddess like that. Seven days of tournament and feasting. Let's go. Seven day bender. Does he know? <laughs> Damon's looking at her like that should be me. In the veil, men are made to answer for their crime. Ah, he knows Damon did it. Even Targaryens. Yep. And who are you? Sir Gerald <laughs> Royce of Rumstone. Yeah, who? Exactly. You know, in King's Landing, men are made to answer for their slanders. Even old bronze cunts like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. Ah. <laughs> Her husband, whatever she was due, now passes to me. Okay. She stood to inherit all of Runestone. Did you not? Yeah, okay, that's why he killed her, so he can inherit her shit. I thought it was going to be something like that. To the Aryan petition, Lady Jane, myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Damn. I knew there was a reason why he killed her, but just kind of like, all right, we'll just wait and see. So he's going to inherit Ringstone, I guess. Dude, Viserys knows he did it. Viserys knows. And, like, Corliss told him, like, it was a hunting accident. But Viserys knows Damon did it. Flatter me, my prince. I was sorry to hear about your lady wife. Don't be, I wasn't. <laughs> That's a parable. Go. Oh. So Kristen Cole. Dude, I knew he fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew he figured it out. But the way, by the way he looked at him, I was like, oh, did he, does he know? I didn't say anything, but I fucking knew he figured it out. I believe Sir Kristen has bloodied that white cloak of his with your bride's maiden hair. I'll keep you yep, exactly. See? See? Oh my god. The way he just looked at Sir Kristen Cole, I was like, hmm? 
coming now, you know? Mm hmm Damn. Well, he's gonna die unless Allison doesn't do anything about it. Allison's about to fucking have him killed because he broke his oath or broke his vow. Unless she doesn't say anything. As I know, the princess is to you. Mm-hmm. Should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. Yep. Because if those are kept safe, then so are we all. Yep. But Allison already knows. Is this what you want? I was not aware that what I wanted mattered to you. This is not for you. Lenore is a good man and a fine knight. He will bore you senseless. <laughs> Marriage is only a political arrangement, I hear. Mine was recently dissolved. <laughs> so take me then. Has this not been your purpose? I am not yet married, but the hours pass swiftly. You are surely armed. Cut through my father's king's guard. Take me to Dragonstone and make me your wife. Oh, she's testing him. All of his area sees him talking. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> the f oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit, Sir Kristen Cole, what are you doing? Wait, 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 why are they fighting? I, I thought they had like a, an agreement, kinda. Bro, this is getting out of hand, bro. It's a wedding, bro, shit has to go down. It always fucking does. Oh, no, 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 You're good, Viserys, you're good. Oh my god, Sir Kristen Cole, chill. <gasps> wow, all right. Oh my, oh, his fucking face, half his <sighs> Why can't we just ever have, have a peaceful wedding? You know, like, ah, uh, Sir Lenor. Like, bro, every time there's a fucking wedding, it's just shit, bad shit happens. Like, I've never seen a good wedding in any fucking Game of Thrones, ever. I mean, actually, I think Joffrey and Marge is was fine, but like, you know what I mean, Rob. It wasn't Rob's wedding, but you know what I mean. I am yours, and you are mine. Damn, you get his voice when he said that. Whatever may come. Sir Chris and Cole just gonna kill himself, cause he knows he's probably gonna die. Renira of House yeah, yep. to be <sighs> And forever. Sir Kristen. <gasps> oh, how's it? Yeah. Oh no, fuck. Bro, this is just this when this was we're having a good time and then it just went downhill so fucking quick. Oh my god. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> All right, well, that was episode five. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so that was House of the Dragon, episode five. All right. <sighs> what an episode. Okay, okay. All right, so we started off with Damon just kicking it in the veil. He met his wife, you know, and then he just murders her. You know, obviously, like, okay, he did it for a reason. But I was just like, all right, let's just let's just see what this reason is. You know, he did it for a reason, but it was so he can inherit Ringstone. Uh, since they technically had no heirs, and now it goes to Damon's. And the guy totally called him out on it, but Damon's like. Damon, he didn't say it, but he was like, bro, you ain't gonna do shit about it right here, okay? Get the fuck out of here, you know? So, that's just kind of funny. But, Rhaenyra and Sir Lena, they got married. But, we can't have a marriage in this, in this universe without a little bit of drama, without some shit going down. So, so they go to Driftwood to propose the marriage, you know? And then that's where Viserys learns that, oh, Damon's wife died, you know, in a hunting accident. And then... When that dude called Damon out on it, like, Viserys was listening, and he was like, oh, okay, I know this fucker killed his wife. 
I know he did. Like, okay, it makes sense now. Okay. Viserys has to know that's what happened. He has to know. And then Allison called Sir Christian Cole to speak with him. You know, and okay, okay, okay. I could be totally wrong about this, but I think she was talking about Rhaenyra and Damon, and she was just going, she was just asking him for like advice on like what do you think actually happened? You know, like do you think Rhaenyra is lying or that could be totally wrong? But you know, before she could finish what she, Allison was trying to say, Sir Christian Cole just admitted to it. You know, and like. Allison seemed shocked about hearing that. She was like, that is not where I was going with it. I had no idea about that. Okay. You know, you know, Sir Christian Cole, he asked for a merciful death because he knows that's the coming because he broke his vow. You know, she, she didn't say exactly what she's going to do. I don't think she's made a decision whether she's going to rat him out or not. But I think that's probably why Sir Christian Cole started attacking that guy. He probably thinks he's going to die anyway. So he's like, I don't have anything to lose. Like he has all this weight on his chest about it he's like fuck what's gonna happen you know it happened right as um Rhaenyra was talking to Damon, and she was like okay well then take me to take me to Dragonstone and marry it make me your wife then and then it happened right I at first I was like wait did Damon just do some shit you know because like, Rhaenyra was like all right go and then take me as your wife you know and I, I thought okay maybe Damon started some shit and then so Kristen Cole came in and then he started fighting that other guy I I didn't I didn't really catch his name so Lena just lost his love interest and it's like oh shit that that sucks but okay i thought they had like a cool like arrangement like i know your secret you know our secret we don't say anything and we're cool you know i guess he didn't have to go over and say that to sir Kristen cole pretty much put that threat on sir Kristen cole and maybe that's another reason why he did it so because he knew about it and he was like sir Kristen cole in his head he's like yeah no one can no one else can know about this about what i did with rhaenyra and so maybe that's why he did it. But then like, okay, then Sir Kristen Cole probably felt super guilty about what he did with Rhaenyra and about killing that guy. So he was about to kill himself later on and then Allison stopped him and then that scene ended right there. So who knows what happens next. Thinking back to what Otto said in the beginning to Allison, he was like, in order for Rhaenyra to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children, Aegon, to the sword, right? So he's basically saying like, yeah, she's gonna have Aegon pretty much killed or whatever in order to secure her claim you know and obviously allison doesn't want that so i think what allison's gonna do with her christian cole is he's gonna use that against rhaenyra and kind of blackmail her and be like hey i know what happened you know and you know she's gonna play that she's gonna kind of play that side knowing that okay i know what really happened with rhaenyra and like rhaenyra okay she technically lied to allison well <sighs> she didn't lie to Allison about Damon, but she didn't mention Sir Kristen Cole. And so I think Allison's gonna use that against Rhaenyra later on. So she's gonna keep him alive. She's not gonna say anything. And when she walked in the wedding room, you know, she was wearing that green dress, and like those two other guys said, Yeah, that's the um, that's what the High Towers banners beacon are when um they go they go to war and like yeah they're not going to war, but it's it's a fashion statement by Allison. She's subtly letting Rhaenyra know, hey, I know what happened. You know, I know what happened. And then I thought an interesting comment was how Viserys was saying like, oh, I wish I was, I would have been tested, you know, like all that kind of stuff. And then his hand was like, yeah, well, most kings who have been tested wish they weren't, you know, because it's like, well, you don't want to know because if you lose then it's like, yeah, that fucking sucks. But I think it's funny because Viserys became king. It's only been drama from here. It's only been drama. So it's like you have been tested, just not on the battlefield. And I think you've lost most of them. So it's kind of just like, damn, like, I feel, I feel bad. I feel so bad for the series, dude. He has all these things, all the, like the tournament and the, like the tournament and the hunt, you know, like nothing goes as planned for him. Like he's trying to just have a good time and then it just all just goes to shit. Like it looks like he's about to die anytime too. Like he's just falling over, bleeding his infections, like up to it, like here now, like he's, he's, he's waxed. He's dying very soon. I don't see him surviving maybe two more episodes maybe but that was house of the dragon episode 5 comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching